Hi everyone, this is Emily from M Intuition Tarot. Thank you so much for tuning in to your reading. Today is going to be a reading for Soul Connection. So we're going to take a look at what the Divine Masculine Energy has to say to its Divine Feminine Energy. Uh, remember, you know, time is an illusion, energy is fluid. So this might have already happened. The energy might have already played out between you two or is about to play out. So please take the messages as they resonate. Remember, you can uh, also book a personal reading through my website, mintuitiontarot.com. The link is in my bio. All right. Thank you so much for liking and commenting and sharing this message. So the first few messages here that I got from the Divine Masculine was about him not being able, him or her, right? It's an energy, Divine Masculine energy. It's about... um this person not being able to show how sorry they are and it's through action, right? Because words don't really mean anything. If you really tap into an energy, words are just words. We need action behind those words. Even though I don't show it, I'm sorry for how things went between us. So there's some type of energy that is preventing him from coming forward and really showing you how sorry they are. Okay, it's about showing it. The problem, the issue here. So we see repelled, which is a shadow. And pride and ego as well here ties with that repelled card. So it does, it looks like he's really holding back from showing how sorry he is or how sorry she is because they're still holding on to how they look, right? They may probably even feel embarrassed. They have, you know, they're, they're holding on to their pride and their ego. This is... Definitely a shadow that is being addressed by the divine, the divine masculine, and um, you're triggering it within him or her. So, as you can see here, it feels like he's going, he or she's going through some energetic upgrades. Okay, so what does that mean? Spirit, they're allowing spirit to intervene, maybe through the dream space maybe when they're meditating or just simply when they're in a place, in a space of receiving. Because the divine masculine has to balance out his or her divine, divine feminine energies within them. So everybody has a masculine and a feminine energy within them. So if, if that is out of balance, then obviously when it comes to connecting with a partner that's going to show up okay so he needs he or she needs to really just put down their guard because now there's something that's holding them back right and so in order to do that they really need to be in the space of receiving of surrendering of really coming to this place of accepting accepting themselves okay so this is what i'm getting with that card and then as we move forward we do see i feel like this is about you really divine the divine feminine who's you see the sun in this card it's interesting i just noticed it the sun represents the divine masculine it feels like he's slowly rising up from the horizon she sees him, but not really, right? He's slowly coming into his power or her power, okay? The sun is the, the divine masculine energy. So the more you come into your own power, divine feminine, the more you allow this divine masculine to step into his highest self, to his highest potential. This is what I'm seeing here, big dreams. This is like Jupiter, Jupiter energy, like Sagittarius energy, like having those big dreams, having those big visions, really seeing beyond what we have in front of us. So I feel like the more time goes by, the more you are connecting to your higher self, and the more you're balancing your masculine and feminine energy within you, the more you create this space for this divine masculine to get inspired and to rewrite or repaint because it feels like a canvas right in this card he feels inspired to pick up that paintbrush and repaint that canvas so it's really about reinventing someone here reinventing their life 
by example. It's that connection with that divine feminine that allows them to rise up from their ashes. So let's get some more cards and see what else spirit wants us to know. Okay. Actually, they're telling me the tarot is more suitable. Okay, let's get some. Okay. The four. Yeah, you see here, they have to take a leap of faith. Like a leap of faith with what? Their emotions. With their, with, you know, the fact that you are slowly opening up that door for them. The way, the more you embody that courage and that boldness, because the fool is about starting over. The fool is about taking that leap of faith. It's jumping towards the unknown. So the more you do that in your own cycle, the more you help him or her to grow into that fool energy. Oh my goodness. Wow. Queen of Swords. Yeah. You're not taking any bullshit. Look at this. Queen of Swords. She's in her power here. Swords are about words, communication. She's not messing around. She's putting up her boundaries. You see she has her guard dogs here. Like you can't mess with this queen. Libra, Gemini, Air, uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. She might have this in her chart, but it's really an energy of I'm not taking any bullshit anymore. I'm drawing a line in the sand, so you better come correct, motherfucker. So that's what that is. Uh, let's get one more. Oh, look at him. King of Cups. I'll be damned. So King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. King of Cups is feeling all the feelings. Very sensitive. Very internal with his emotions he doesn't show his emotions he's not really accustomed to showing his emotions unfortunately because he is in his pride and ego state here but don't be fooled the king of cups has emotions but he's like scared i feel more fear in in his face than anything else afraid to offer this cup it's like it's there his emotions are there but he feels a little bit unsafe at the moment let's get some more energies here yeah look at this i feel like he's conflicted five of wands he might be dealing with other people here he might not want to approach you because he doesn't want to uh, he's afraid of your reaction. You know, five of wands is arguing. It's it's conflicts. It's conflicts with other people. He might be even worried that there are other people in your life. Five of wands is competition, fighting for for their spot to be with you or you with them. Right. So it depends. Two of cups. Yeah, you see here. Two of cups is all about coming into union. This is a relationship. This is, I have my cup, you have your cup. And together we are going to exchange each other's cups, which is emotions. And we're not going to be afraid. We're going to open up and we're going to meet each other at the same vibration because we're both ready. We've both taken the time to pour in our own cup, meaning we've taken the time to honor our own emotions and therefore now we are both able to share that emotional exchange. That's what the Two of Cups is. So don't be fooled. This guy feels like he's in love. He just doesn't know how to show it. He feels conflicted. He's afraid of taking that leap of faith. And look at you. I mean, who wouldn't be afraid of you, Divine Feminine? Like she, she knows her shit. She knows her worth. But she's not going to settle for less. Okay? All right, let's get one more here. <laughs> you cannot make this shit up. So again, Ace of Cups, it's like my cup runneth over. Like someone's in love. Don't be fucking fooled. This person is in love. But are they able to tap into their emotions? That's the thing. Ace of Cups, this is new love. This is reaching for that cup allowing it to come down allowing it to really 
pour into into her she needs to drop her defenses as well i'm hearing okay let's get one more four of cups yeah you see someone is doubting this ace of cups this love this offer it's like it's never gonna happen maybe that's why she's in this queen of swords mode right um she's questioning it she's not really into it or she's just there's some level of dissatisfaction of doubt or this can also be his energy right because green is a heart chakra so someone's heart is closed from receiving something here let's get one last card three of swords yeah afraid to be three of swords is heartbreak loss disappointment afraid to step into a new relationship, afraid to open up and be vulnerable because of the loss and heartbreak that happened from the past. So this might be why he's not able to come forward right now, why he's not able to show you how he truly feels. He's like battling something. This can be internal or again, this can be external where he feels like there's always fighting or every every conversation turns out to be an argument, okay? So take the messages as they resonate. So I hope these messages helped you guys. Make sure to check out um, my reels on a daily basis, my stories. I'm going to go live soon on YouTube and here on Instagram. So check out my stuff, guys, and reach out if you need a personal reading through my website, mintuitiontower.com. It was a pleasure reading the cards for today's Soul Connections, and I'll see you very soon.